In this video, we'll review vendor experience with a multi-vendor module installed and enabled. A vendor can log into the admin area of the store as soon as his account is approved or the one is created by the store administrator manually. A link for a new vendor account registration looks like this one. In the registration page, a vendor should specify a valid email address and a password he would like to use for his account in the store. As soon as the account is approved by the store administrator, the vendor gets a notification by email and can start using his account. In order to log in, a vendor should go to the admin login page, the same one that the store administrator uses for login. A vendor should fill in profile information. For this purpose, hover a mouse over the user icon and select Profile Settings. In the Account Details tab, a vendor can change his email address he uses for his account. In Address Book, a vendor should specify his address. This information won't be displayed to customers. Information specified in Vendor's Details tab will be displayed to customers on the Vendors page in the storefront. Such vendor information as company name, location, and description supports multiple languages. In tab Financial Info, a vendor should specify his PayPal account information in case Adaptive Payments by PayPal payment method is used in the store. This information will be visible to the store administrator and the account will be used for transferring vendor earnings. In section Catalog Products, a vendor should add products he's going to sell. The procedure of adding a new product and managing existing products is the same as for the store administrator. With default multi-vendor module settings, a vendor cannot add new categories, only assign existing categories to his products. Depending on the multi-vendor module settings, a vendor may have or not access to adding new product classes and attributes. With Use Existing and Add New Values access, a vendor will be able to add new product classes and new attributes in tab Attributes on the Product Details page and in Classes and Attributes section in the vendor's backend. Vendors cannot remove or edit attributes specified by the store administrator. With Use Existing Values Only access, vendors will be able to assign only classes and attributes predefined by the store administrator. A vendor can import and export its products with a CSV file. Catalog – Import – Export The process of import and export is the same as for the store administrator. The difference is that a vendor field is added into the CSV file. Even if this field is omitted when importing products, these products will be labeled as related to the vendor who uploaded them. Access to Orders section and Store Setup section for a vendor depends on the multi-vendor mode. If the store works in warehouse mode, it's the store administrator who adds and configures shipping methods. Vendors don't have access to the Store Setup section and shipping methods configuration at all. If the store works in vendors as separate shops mode, vendors should fill in store address information and set shipping methods. These shipping methods will be offered to customers for the products owned by the vendor. As for orders, in any mode, a vendor can view orders only related to the products he owns. If an order contained products of other vendors as well, this info won't be visible to the vendor. As soon as an order is placed, the vendor gets a notification by email. In the order list, a vendor sees order total information and the earnings he gets from every order. In warehouse mode, vendors can only view orders and not edit them. In vendors as separate shops mode, vendors can view and fully manage all orders related to their products. In section Orders Statistics, vendors can view their order statistics. They can also access their Best Selling Products statistics via the Best Sellers tab of the same section. In section Users Transactions History, a vendor can view the history of his earnings transactions. In column Vendor Earnings, the vendor will see his earnings, which he will get from the store administrator for his orders. Column Paid to Vendor reflects the vendor earnings, which have already been transferred to him. In section Promotions, the vendor can create coupons and volume discounts. These promotions will be applied only to his products. Please check other videos for administrator and customer experience. Thanks for watching.